Hey everyone, this is Tom from One Valley Woodworks. I'm going to show you how you can make a pizza board with the Crafted Elements router template. As you can see, this is a really, really thick template. So I can't get this to fit in any one single board. I already took the time to glue up a bunch of four quarter boards in order to get the exact dimensions I need in order to make this work on the router template. Uh, you're going to need 12 16 inch long strips and you're gonna need five 21.5 inch strips. So obviously we have a lot of glue squeeze out. I'm gonna show you how I flatten this with the Crafted Elements router sled. All right, you guys, I made really quick work of that. This board's completely flat, all thanks to my router sled that I live and die by. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to my drum sander, just get extra flat so it glides really, really smooth on the router table. Okay, you guys, just ran this through the drum sander. It's looking really clean. I'm really excited to take this to the router table. First thing I gotta do is trace out the outline of the template here on top of this. Add some wood tape to it to secure it, and then we're ready to go. Regarding taping your template, I am going to use X-Fasten. My advice is to tape the perimeter as much as possible. You can't add too much tape to your template. You can definitely not add enough and have the template slide on your wood. Make sure you just get the perimeter of your template and maybe one stripe or two stripes in the middle.
done. This is looking really good. It's sanded to 320 grit on the top and bottom. However, I still have to do the sides. Luckily, I have this foam pad here that I'm gonna attach to my orbital sander, and it's gonna attach just like so. There we go. Sanding is finally finished. I absolutely hate sanding, but I respect the process. And if you love sanding, you are an absolute psychopath. I'm kidding. Anyways, so it's time for my favorite part, which is the mineral oil bath. Enjoy. There you have it. I was able to turn this into this. This router template was so easy to use. For the price of this, I was able to make this. I'm gonna be able to sell it for twice as much as I paid for that template. Or I can just keep this, remake it, and make gifts for all my family and friends. For the birthdays, holidays, you name it. The best thing I love about this template in particular, probably a handle, but not only that, this can double as either a pizza board or it can be an extra wide charcuterie board if you have an extra large gathering. There's honestly no limit to what you can use this for. And I'm honestly glad that I get to make more of them because of this. Crafted Elements, thank you so much for making awesome products.